Hello, Bacha. This is Mohammed Dinatullo from the Sai Mehta Coaching Center, Kochi, Hyderabad. So, in our previous videos, as we have discussed some shortcuts related to the topic limits, now also we'll be discussing some more shortcuts over here to the topic limits. Ajao, come on, let us start over here. Limit x tends to infinity 2x cube minus 4x plus 7 divided by 3x cube plus 4x square, 5x square minus 4. Okay. Now, first we'll be discussing what is the actual procedure we are having over here. Then we'll be discussing the shortcut what we are having related to this part. Okay, let us see this one. So, whenever we are having x tends to infinity, what we are having? x tends to infinity. So, what you have to remember means, sir, 1 by x will be tending to 0. What you have to remember? 1 by x tends to 0. This first point you have to remember over here. Whenever we are getting x tends to infinity questions, what we have to remember? 1 by x tends to 0. Okay. Now, in the question, what you have to do means, from the numerator, what is the highest degree term? That part you have to take as common. From the denominator, again you have to take highest degree as common. Let us see this part now. Now, what is happening? Limit x tends to infinity. What is the highest degree term we are having? x cube. So, if you are taking x cube as common, what we are taking? x cube as common. What is the remaining part now? 2 minus 4 by x plus 7 by x cube. Over here, what we are having? 4 by x square and this is 7 by x cube. Okay, This part we have taken. Now, from the denominator also, we have to take what as common, highest degree term is x cube. So, if you are taking x cube as common over here, then what is remaining now? 3 plus 5 by x minus 4 by x cube. Okay, This part we have taken. After taking x cube and x cube, what is highest degree in numerator? That part you have to take as common. What is highest degree in the denominator? That part we have to take as common. Okay. So, now this x cube, x cube gets cancelled. Now, what I have told you, limit, whenever we are having x tends to infinity, what is the meaning? 1 by x tends to 0. What we are having? 1 by x tends to 0. Now, what is the remaining part we are having? 2 minus 4 by x square plus 7 by x cube okay divided by 3 plus 5 by x minus 4 by x cube okay now what is the meaning of this part means wherever we are having 1 by x form over there you have to write 0 so this is 1 by x form 0 4 into 0 will become 0 this part will become 0 this part will become 0 this part will become 0 above 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 0 0 0 0 what is the answer we are getting 2 by 3 what is the answer 2 by 3 okay so if you are getting this type of question over here this was a simple question for simple question only we have got uh, some 2 to 3 steps over here Okay, but if you are getting somewhat a medium level question or else some advanced question you are getting means sir, it will become more complicated over there. Okay, so for this type of questions, we will be discussing the shortcut in today's video. Okay, now let us see this part what we are having over here. What we are having this shortcut. Okay, now see this part. Now, what we are having means, whenever we are having the question as limit x tends to infinity f of x divided by g of x, f of x divided by g of x, okay, like this we have taken over here. Limit x tends to infinity f of x divided by g of x, where whatever the functions we are taking over here, where f of x and g of x, whatever we are taking should belongs to which functions, algebraic functions. Which function? Algebraic functions. Okay, this part we have taken. Now, what is the shortcut? Sir, you have written this part, that part you have written. What is the shortcut? Tell me. Now, let us write this part. It is equals to coefficient, coefficient of highest degree term, highest degree term divided by, again same part over here, coefficient of highest degree term. This is a shortcut we are having. Highest degree term, highest degree term, we have to take the coefficient. Okay. Now, let us see this question. Same question I have written over here. The first question is same question and we are having the remaining questions for this video. Okay. Now, let us see this part. Now, first question we are having does limit x tends to infinity 2x cube minus 4x plus 7 by 3x cube plus 5x square minus 4 we are having. Okay. This is the question. Now, first step what you have to do means uh, from the complete question 
from the complete question we have to find out highest degree term okay not from numerator separately not from denominator separately over here from the complete question we have to find out highest degree term okay now can you tell me what is the highest degree term we are having from the complete question over here x cube what we are having x cube if you are having x cube what is the coefficient of x cube in the numerator 2 divided by what is the coefficient of x cube in the denominator 3 what is the answer 2 by 3 okay so what is the answer we have got over here 2 by 3 in this what we got the answer 2 by 3 that is it 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 okay so simple questions will be there whenever we are having limit extends to infinity what we have to do we have to select a highest degree term what we are having in that we have to take the coefficient okay now let us move on to the next questions what we are having now i see this part limit extends to infinity 4x plus 5 by x square plus 2x plus 3 we are having okay now can you tell me first in this complete question what is the highest degree term we are having the highest degree term is x square what we are having x square we are having over here okay if you are having x square then you you can see this part what is the coefficient of x square in the numerator in the numerator sir in the numerator we are not having x square sir what question you are asking sir over here okay so if you are not having x square in the numerator what will be coefficient 0 divided by okay coefficient of x square in the numerator 0 divided by what is the coefficient of x square in denominator 1 0 by 1 0 okay this part we have taken now next one limit extends to infinity minus x cube plus 8 by 2x square plus 5x plus 7 we are having okay this part now again can you identify from the complete question what is the highest degree term we are having the highest degree term is x cube what we are having x cube if you are having x cube let us say take the coefficients over here what is the coefficient of x cube in the numerator minus 1 divided by okay now what is the coefficient of x cube in the denominator denominator is a 0 because we are not having x cube term coefficient will be 0 only okay this part we have taken so it is equals to this minus we have to write as it is over here what is the meaning of 1 by 0 0 by 1 means 0 1 by 0 means what infinity so what is the final answer we are getting minus infinity minus we have written as it is and 1 by 0 will become what a infinity okay like that we have taken now let us see the next question over here in the next question we are having limit extends to infinity under root of 3x square plus 5 by 5x plus 3 we are having okay now suppose I will be giving you some trick over here let us do that part as we are using shortcut over here so first let us understand what we are doing actually this under root what we are having under root we can't give we can't give for 3x squared separately for 5 separately okay because we are having plus sign in between that uh, so we can't separate that one okay but if it is into then we can separate that part okay so what we are discussing means we, as we are discussing the shortcut i'll be telling you one trick over here okay follow the trick you will be getting the same answer now what we are having so whenever we are having the under roots form over here what we are having whenever we are having under roots form then what we have to do see this one let us assume that what I mean? Let us assume that uh, we have given this under root for 3x square. We have given that under root for what? Uh, 3x square. If you are giving the under root for 3x square, it will become what? Uh, limit x tends to infinity. Like this we have taken. If you have given that under root for 3x square means it will become root 3 and uh, x. Because square root gets cancelled for that part. And uh, some remaining answer also will be getting. If you are expanding all that part with the mathematical expansions, uh, we will be getting some lengthy answer over there. So, what I have done, only this part I have taken and remaining part I have written like that only. Why I have written like that so on means, uh, because we are concentrating on the highest degree term. Okay. So, for highest degree term, I have written like this. Remaining part I do not want. I do not want that. Okay. So, that is why I have taken this part only. Now, divided by... 5x plus 3. So, we are writing this part as 5x plus 3. Like this, you have to do the shortcut. That is it. Okay. Now, can you identify what is the highest degree term we are having in this uh, question? x we are having. What is the coefficient of x in numerator? Root 3 divided by. What is the coefficient of x in denominator? 5. What is the answer? Root 3 by 5. What is the answer? Root 3 by 5. Okay. Now, by using this a shortcut, what are the trick we have discussed over here? Let us apply for all the questions. Okay. Now, let us see this part. Now, in this also under root concept we are having, what I have told you, let us assume that we have given that under root 
for 9x square. If you have given this under root for 9x square, it will become what? Limit x tends to infinity. This part will become what? 3x and some so and so part. Okay. Divided by what we are having now? x plus 7. It is equals to. Now, what is the highest degree term we are having? x from the complete question x is the highest degree term okay now what is the coefficient of x in the numerator 3 divided by 1 3 by 1 is equals to 3 okay now let us go with the next question limit x tends to infinity this complete part we are having over here okay now in this also what we are doing limit x tends to infinity now under root if you have given for 9x square it will become what 3x plus so and so part i don't want that okay now next one minus we are writing as it is over here in this also if you are giving this under root for 4x square it will become what 2x and some so and so part divided by what we are having 2x minus 3 it is equals to okay now next one limit x tends to infinity now what we are doing is after giving that under root once check that uh, are we having some like terms or not Yes or no? You have to check that like terms over here. See this part. Because we are having 3x over here, 2x is there. 3x minus 2x. What we are having? 3x minus 2x, it is equals to 1x. After that, we are having some so and so remaining part we are having. Okay. Now, next, divided by what is left in denominator? 2x minus 3. It is equals to. Now, from the complete question, what we have to identify? We have to identify highest degree term. So, in this complete question, what is the highest degree term we are having? x what is the coefficient of x in numerator 1 divided by what is the coefficient of x in denominator 2 what is the answer 1 by 2 1 by 2 okay now let us go with the next question now limit x tends to infinity this question we are having again okay now let us do similar concept over here limit x tends to infinity if you have given this under root for x power 4 it will become what a x square it will become what a x square and some so and so part we are having over here. Okay. Next of what we are having minus 2 x square minus 1 divided by x square. Okay. Which is equals to limit x tends to infinity. Limit x tends to infinity. Now let us check are we having some like terms or not. Okay x square we are having minus 2x square we are having. X square minus 2x square means what? Minus x square what we are having minus x square that minus 1 some so and so part we are having divided by in the denominator what we are having x square okay now from this complete question what is the highest degree term we are having we are having x square what is the coefficient of x square in numerator minus 1 divided by what is the coefficient of x square in denominator 1 minus 1 by 1 means minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 okay now let us go with the next question a last question limit x tends to infinity we are having x plus 1 whole power 10 plus x plus 2 whole power 10 plus so on what we are having x plus 10 whole power 10 divided by x power 10 plus 10 power 10 okay like this we are having now how we are using this under root we are having is we have assumed that uh, we have given that under root for that highest degree okay in this also what i am doing means uh, limit x tends to infinity let us assume that uh, we have given this power 10 for x over here actually it is not possible we can't give for x uh, 1 over here it is not possible okay so but what we are doing as we are using the shortcut over here so what i am telling let us assume okay if you are assuming that this power 10 we have given for x over here and remaining part we are not bothering about that one okay so now what is happening x power 10 plus so and so part okay next one plus x power 10 plus so and so part plus so on up to again x power 10 plus so and so part divided by x power 10 plus 10 power 10 okay so what i have told you over here see this part carefully now after writing this uh, now we have to see whether we are having the like terms or not okay now we are having x power 10 x power 10 x power 10 how many times we are having we are having so on over here so on means what we are having 1 2 3 4 5 6 uh, 10 numbers we are having, 10 times we are having. So, x power 10 plus x power 10 is 2x power 10. Similarly, if you are adding all the 10 terms, then it will become what? 10x power 10. Okay. So, let us write over here. So, what we are writing now? Limit x tends to infinity. Okay. 
टेन एक्स पवर टेन प्लस सो ऑन डिवाइडेड बाय व्हाट वी आर हैविंग ओवर हियर एक्स पावर टेन प्लस टेन पावर टेन ओके लाइक दिस वी हैव टेकन नाउ फ्रॉम दैट क्वेश्चन कैन यू आइडेंटिफाई व्हाट इज़ द हाईएस्ट डिग्री टर्म वी आर हैविंग वी आर हैविंग द हाईएस्ट डिग्री टर्म एस एक्स पावर टेन व्हाट वी आर हैविंग एक्स पावर टेन व्हाट इज़ द कोइफिशिएंट ऑफ़ एक्स पावर टेन न्यूमरेटर टेन डिवाइडेड बाय वन टेन बाय वन टेन 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 ओके सो लाइक दिस वी हैव टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन सो ओवर हियर रिलेटेड टू दिस शॉर्टकट व्हाट वी आर हैविंग ओके व्हाट वी हैव टेकन लिमिट एक्सटेंड्स टू इनफिनिटी व्हेन ओवर वी आर हैविंग इनफिनिटी एफ ऑफ एक्स बाय जी ऑफ एक्स बोथ फंक्शंस आर एल्जेब्रिक फंक्शंस देन ओनली वी हैव टू सेलेक्ट द हाईएस्ट डिग्री टर्म फ्रॉम द कंप्लीट क्वेश्चन एंड वी हैव टू टेक द कोएफिशिएंट ऑफ दैट हाईएस्ट डिग्री टर्म फ्रॉम न्यूमरेटर एंड द कोएफिशिएंट ऑफ सेम हाईएस्ट डिग्री टर्म फ्रॉम द डिनोमिनेटर ओके सो दिस वाज द शॉर्टकट फॉर द टुडे this video over here i think you have enjoyed this shortcut what we are having it is also most important over here okay so if you have enjoyed this video please share this video with your friends as well as in your whatsapp group thank you very much